Snow Moon Rising for 2024. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So I'm doing a little clip here on the uh, February of 2024 full moon. Um, quite an energy uh, that I've been tuning into. And just a little clip about that. When I tuned into that to give a little message, um, nothing long. Um, but February full moon, 24, the snow moon is far but over. So it's going to last quite a while. The energies of it not per se the full moon but the full moon the energies that it's brought with it so it takes over the sun in june relative to energy as it brings what may um, to the forefront for many and will bring about the awareness of its existence into the world so it's shining on you uh, brightly and so you are in this into the world so are you ready to see the truth of who you are and what you're creating because the moon does bring about the awareness. Now, if you know about the energies of the moon, it brings forth the awareness of who you are, what you're creating. It brings things up within you to see it, right? So that's your manifestings, what you're seeing, how you are, what you're existing. It shows you your truth, not the illusion, right? The shadow effects of the moon is where you're um, recreating and creating what you're wanting. That's the shadow effects of the moon. The light brightens and lightens it. Right, and so the energy, so, and then it says, well, get ready and hang on because the moon hanging over will light the way in shade of itself, which is the shadow self, right? It may be heavy at times, right, what's coming, but you have a way of being within yourself that will get you through with guidance and reassurance, right? So always to remember, just remember to tune into yourself as we're moving through these shifts in consciousness as we're going through 2024, because the, the revealance of relevance to it is going to help you navigate and move forward through it. So just stay tuned, connected to your higher self, your consciousness, your awareness. Um, ask and question certain things. That, is it the, the illusion or my, is it real? Is it the truth? Or what is it that I'm projecting or feeling within myself? Pay attention to the internal guidance system and what you're receiving not through others, but per, from source, your divine connection. So with the guidance and reassurance that you are on your way and ready uh, for the next new adventure, because new adventures wait for your life, right? So there's new things coming into existence for you. It's a time of predicting uh, what you're wanting to happen in your life, not really a prediction per se, um, of the future, but predicting of what you want in your world the creating of the seeds and planting is right now in this time frame. So allowing that to happen, even though um, the shadow effects of new moon is for planting seeds and creating what you're wanting. It's also lighting the way for you to see that so you can create for the evolution of it, right? So not only is the moon showing you uh, what you're creating or where you are and showing and shedding light on the illusion, but so you can see the truth in it, but it's also allowing you at the same time to plant the new seeds when you do see of the illusion, which is the truth, right? So what are you seeing that's connecting to the divine and what's not, right? Is it the shadow self in realization, re, uh, reality of itself, right? And so... Uh, for the next new adventure of life. So don't give up and be ready for the next event in life it is all in your favor. So whatever you're creating is in your favor. The universe doesn't judge or have any um, tell you what is yes and what is no. Um, it just gives you what you're wanting. <laughs> That's its purpose and its role is the universe gives you in your favor whatever it is that you're wanting. You can want the, the worst things and it'll give it to you. You can want the best things and it'll give it to you. Whatever it is that you're choosing, everything is choice, right? Right down to the last liver of a life that you're trying to squeeze out of it of everyday life, right? And so um, new ventures await you, whatever you're wanting to create right now uh, for the existing coming into where it's more summertime, right? Into June. So where you're gonna start revealing and seeing these things that are gonna evolve through time of, of now until then, and they're going to start showing up because 
what the seeds are that you're planting is going to create the evolution of that. And so you're going to have that experience. So be mindful, um, connect with your true self. What is it that you're creating? Right now, it is a very intricate piece and in time of evolution and the steps forward ahead. And a lot of times, you know, if we're already manifesting things and we're thinking, well, you know, um, do I really, do I really want this? Should I give up? Or I'm feeling, and that's another energy that's been coming out. And I've been seeing that a lot around is like uh, people giving up, but now is the time to, to move forward. Maybe just adjusting what I'm getting is just to adjust what you're working on. Um, but don't give up, stay on the path um, of where you are, just maybe adjust it a little bit. You know, maybe if you're doing something in a certain way, maybe do it in a different way, but still stay on the path of it, stay focused, because now is a time where it might seem like um, things are not moving or it's in preparation for moving forward into the year. Uh, it's, it's may not feel like it's moving as quickly as you want to. And so it's just the slowing down, not the quickening part. So at some point, eventually it'll, it'll move, but if you stay, stay with it, just maybe shift it a little bit. Um, if you're making, just for an example, if you're um, doing art in a certain way, maybe do art in a different way. Maybe show your art in a different place. Maybe look for a career in a different area. Maybe do, do whatever it is that you're doing or you're trying to create or manifest or manipulate in a different way, but don't give up. Stay on the same path. Um, just because it's not moving or shifting doesn't mean it's not the right path, but to give shoulder to it. So uh, shoulder means maybe go a little bit to the right or to the left of that, but still stay on the same path, if that makes sense. Um, so allow yourself that allowance um, and forgiveness um, of suffering, you know, and beating yourself up because nothing's moving or shifting right now because that's just the way that it is right now. It's just so moving, but pretty soon it will be shifting and moving forward and it's just down the path. Maybe just move or take a look at it and see how can I make it better? How can I make it more um, accessible? How can I make it stand out more, you know, different things like that. Just take a look at it. How can I make it more um, bright, you know, to attract what it is that I want or come at it from a different perspective. So basically right now it's time to manipulate the energy, vibration energy to have whatever we're working on uh, mold the clay in a different way. So it comes out and is something um, of beauty, you know, later in life. So, but stay on the path. It may seem like, you know, it's time to give up or move into something else. But uh, what they're showing in is just to keep going, right? And that's the message. So right now is time to either plant new seeds from the light of the moon showing through the illusion to what the truth is so you can bring out the truth and plant new seeds or to manipulate what is here already that you're creating, working on of the energy that's already in process. Happy journeys.